Well, welcome everybody to the uh, Fortuna Admissions uh, video webinar series. Um, I'm there with uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Kristen Byers, who was the Deputy Director uh, of Admissions at uh, the Yale School of Management. Uh, Kristen, it's great to have you uh, with us for this for this chat. Thank you. Um, that y Yale, of course, is is just one of, of many uh, world class, outstanding uh, business schools that uh, young professionals are, are looking at. There are many great business schools. There are many great reasons to go to business school. Mm -hmm. So, how can you really tailor uh, your applications to to, to Yale uh, or, or to the culture and strengths of uh, of any of your target MBAs? Absolutely. Yeah. Happy to chat that through, Matt. And thanks for having me today. Um, Absolutely. I think it's really important, regardless if it's at Yale or any other uh, business schools that applicants are having in mind, um, is really to take the time, just as you would in a job application, um, to go through and do research and due diligence um, to make sure um, that you're tailoring your application to what the school community uh, mission, focus, um, their values, um, making sure that you're taking the time to understand, A, what that is, then B, taking the time to connect your experiences and your interests and your passions to make sure that's aligned with those things, and then tie it together and integrate throughout the various components of the application. Um, and I just would, I, my advice would be not to underestimate the importance of, of being thoughtful and, and taking that time to make an authentic connection to the school as opposed to pulling something off of the website or, or starting the mission back to uh, the admissions committee. That's not what they're looking for. They're really looking for um, a, a unique and personal connection to whether it's um, the way they're running their curriculum or, for instance, at Yale, um, strong focus on uh, educating leaders for both business and society. Um, that can mean a lot of different things, and it does mean a lot of different things uh, to different students, alumni, uh, recruiters, et cetera. Um, so sort of what is the applicant's personal connection to wanting to succeed in the business world, but also being connected to something larger um, and understanding sort of the, the cross-sector uh, relationships in the world. Um, so being able to kind of tie in and make that argument um, back to them. Um, and again, I would also say, you know, definitely get beyond the website. Um, there's so much available online, um, but if there's an opportunity to make sure um, applicants are reading case studies and understanding what um, the dialogue is happening in the classroom, being able to talk to students and recent alums if that's available to you, um, going to campus or joining a virtual event um, or going to an event in a city near you just so you can actually meet and understand the culture that the school is offering and what they really value. Um, and then after talking to folks, really doing some self-reflection and going back and looking for those integration points in a natural way um, and not making it forced. So that could be something through you know, work experience, it could be through a personal experience that you had that you really resonated um, with something that's important to the school, um, it could be extracurriculars. And then really taking the time to, you know, definitely through the essay, I think the essay is one of those um, beautiful opportunities that you have to really craft your own story and not be stuck to the confines of, of um, other pieces of the, of the application, which are either already done uh, because they're based on your experience or a test score, um, but really being able to, to tell your story and make those connections through that um, as well. Um, and then also looking at things like your recommenders and making sure that your recommenders understand what that school is uniquely positioned to offer. And also look at your resume and make sure your extracurriculars or your volunteer experiences are, are popping out. And you might have a different resume for every school that you're applying for, right? To make sure it's in line with, with what they value. And I guess that's the last thing I would say on this um, is really to think about both what you can get out of that experience, right? Why, um, why you can uniquely benefit from that particular school based on the way they're teaching um, and sort of what their value proposition is, and then also what you can add and enhance the classroom and the community with as well. Without making you blush, of course, um, in your years at the school, you, you read a, a fair number of applications. Um, yeah. Beyond sort of, um, you know, sort of swapping in the, 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 the name of another school and saying, well, you know, that sort of collaborative culture that we have here at New Haven, 
this this could have been Tuck, this could have been Kellogg, this could have been Duke. Um, could 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 you really sort of tell when when an applicant has, you know um, taken that additional time to really connect with the school, or inversely look at this and say, you know, he's talking about noises, but you know he, he feels like a, a Columbia um, sort of profile and, and perhaps mm. not as suited to to the culture of the school. Yeah. Yeah, um, I would say absolutely. I think um, it's important for applicants to think through um, that delicate line between sort of demonstrating their research with listing classes that they sat in on or listing students that they've spoken with, but really actually highlighting instead what they learned from that experience and, and how they can connect to that. So maybe it was something through, for instance, at Yale, they teach um, perspectives. So instead of teaching a class on marketing, we teach a class called the consumer and they're connecting it from a customer perspective. So maybe it's linking something from um, a work experience to kind of really resonating with thinking about it from a customer perspective. Um, so it, that shows the committee, okay, great, they're already valuing um, the way we're teaching our leaders and could really kind of jump in and hit the ground running. So I think sort of taking the, the content and the essence out of what they've learned as opposed to, um, you know, listing, you know, things that a lot of the business schools will value in terms of teamwork and collaboration um, and really kind of trying to get at the, the essence of, of what that um, particular program does differently right. that will resonate with the applicant. Right. Uh, so I would say you absolutely of... can tell um, on a, in an application. Right, right. And, and as things continue to evolve, because of course as, as one of the younger uh, top schools, I guess what, 41, 42 years old, um, yeah. There's tremendous depth and depth around um, uh, nonprofits, um, but with Ted Schneider um, and, and his uh, real desire to see uh, the school um, looking at uh, business from a global perspective as, as well as sort of business and society. So um, individuals that have an international background, is, is that something that they really want to bring into the application and talk about uh, how it aligns with the, that, that international focus of the school? Absolutely, they do. You know, so I've been gone about uh, She's three and a half years now, um, and the school has changed light years in those few years under Ted's leadership um, in terms of the number of programs and partnerships that they've added with other global programs. Um, so I would say, you know, not only looking for folks that have either international background, um, but also folks that just care about the way that the world um, works and that, you know, going forward, thinking about um, their career in terms of um, understanding the global mindset. So I think with some of the changes at Yale's program, um, they are attracting applicants that have more of that global appetite um, and curiosity because there's more built into the two-year experience where they're able to um, go through the um, to their global network and go um, for a week or two uh, to a different continent and experience um, something specific to that economy, for instance. And then they're also able to to welcome students from different economies onto New Haven's campus and be able to collaborate with them in the classroom. Um, so I, I absolutely, it's a, it's a strong focus. And you're right, it's dynamic. It's um, They just added two new master's programs that are connecting with the MBA program um, this fall. Right. So constant evolution and, and, and staying connected with the school. Um, Kristen is one of um, close to 30 uh, Fortuna admissions coaches uh, working with, with applicants to the top school. We've got to, a tremendous spread, I think 12 at the top, and you know, really helping uh, you to understand the, the cultures of the schools and how that might best fit your goals. So uh, we uh, encourage you to, to reach out to, uh, to, to Kristen, myself, and uh, we, we look forward to talking. Thanks, uh, Kristen, for sharing this uh, video session together, and uh, um, we'll, we'll be back online very soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Matt.